I was just expecting some, you know, the pass rushers today, but we also saw some team builders too. And team builders, like if you guys remember last year, some of those were super, super good. I think it's going to be the same this year. Those 84 team builders, I think they're going to make up a lot of people's teams early on, especially for the cost. Let's go check them out. If you're looking to build the best team in Mad, make sure you head over to MMOEXP.com to avoid the packs and save some racks. Use code CC for 5% off. Link is in the description below. Fastest coins, cheapest coins. Use code CC. We'll see you guys on the sticks. 5% off. Be great. Hey, what is going on, Madden family? We are here. We're talking pass rushers and some team builder preview today. And it's good stuff. I, I like I like what we've been shown and I love the, the level of detail that we've been getting stuff. So Kudos to uh, RG and Crelo on the streams every morning. And we're about a week away now. Exactly a week away before we get our hands on this game. So pretty excited about that. Make sure you drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Make sure you are subscribed because Men 22 is, like I said, it's a week away. So let's just get into this. I could waste a lot of time, but I don't want to. So we're going to talk about a couple notes here. Uh, one of the questions was this, these curated legends. Moss, Welker, Dion, uh what chemistries do they get they get all the team chemistries they played for kind of like veterans in the past so dion will get cowboys falcons ravens diners etc right cool cool i like the little little thing like that goes a long way for me good uh and then also do you get loyalty players for previous generation and next generation uh so since everything is shared uh yes all right so cool um both though uh this one i i knew uh, the other one i didn't know uh, they also revealed some other players yesterday off stream that we can take a look at. And some of these are pretty good. Waller, obviously, that's kind of as expected for Waller. Nice 85 rating on him. Cool. Obviously, puts him a little more expensive, but I well, we always like Waller. Then we got the Riddler and this card. Very good. I'm not going to say it's the best receiver in the game. You know, I want to be in a homer, but I love the route runner archetype here for us. Great. The route running. Yeah, it's a little low. The speed is there, uh, so his next card will be pretty good. Same thing with Jefferson here, except he's a deep threat. Again, very solid balance card, as expected. No problem there. We got DK Metcalf, physical archetype, which does hurt him a bit, but his size in the game on next gen is going to be a, a big deal. Um, and 87 speed, power him up to 88. It's a goon. DK is a bit of a goon. Put him on... Uh, I'd kind of, I want to get him the ball sort of short and have him be the guy breaking tackles. I know generally you'd want to put like a slot type receiver, someone smaller for me on next gen. Again, the speed right there is to, good enough to get away from the users. Uh, I also know that his route running isn't very good. So getting him just open short and then having him break tackles and turn five yard catches into 10 yards uh, is definitely going to be a thing. Cool card. Amari Cooper again. I always feel like he's a little overrated, but this is a solid card overall. Route runner as well. And we got Diggs right here. Now, again, how much route running matters and what abilities they're going to get at their overalls. We don't always know that. So, like, he's not as fast as Ridley's card, but his route running is better, right? So, again, who I would rather use between Diggs, Ridley, and Cooper uh, is going to depend on the abilities that they can get at certain points again i don't know all the thresholds at this time it hasn't been communicated to us but again dig solid card uh and I'm, I'm glad that he's a usable card here we also saw henry rugs again you knew he was going to be fast 88 speed call him a budget card not bad right we also got jason kels up here again uh as a center he's not going to pass protection um so if you're playing someone who has like an aaron donald out there He's going to get pretty wrecked generally, uh, but he's a good run blocking center. He's not, no, he's not who I want to have generally. I will say that as well. Uh, Levante David got previewed here. Meh, meh. It's, it's, it's what it is. And then we see some of these team builder cards. Okay. Now Sutton isn't overly impressive, but he's a big physical receiver too. Physical archetype, right? 85 speed is okay. Right? I still have Metcalf. Uh, and then we get CD lamb deep threat archetype again not my favorite but he's got speed and balance on the card cowboys fans will be very happy with that uh sterling shepherd route runner with 87 speed again looking not bad what abilities does he get at 84 who knows right debo samuel physical receiver here 88 speed 
kind of like DK, right? This Debo card is going to be nice. People are going to use that card. Ajax, 89 speed, same speed as Tyreek Hill. Obviously no power up, but again, this could mean that Tyreek Hill's price isn't quite what it should be, right? Because these cards are, these are decent cards. These are usable cards early on. Uh, and then we get to Wes Welker here, and we've seen this from the Brady thing. Now, RG brought up today a very important thing that his archetype is slot. We haven't seen any slot archetype receivers in the game yet. In fact, there was only like two or three last year at all. Justin Jefferson was one. And the key with having a slot archetype is you get slot apprentice. So you get the routes from the slot, right? Which is huge, which could make people think about taking Welker again, based on how you want to play your offense and all that. So I'm not going to say, oh, now this makes Welker the right choice. What we really need to see is who else is a slot archetype in the game? Because I don't think there's going to be very many at all. Uh, maybe we get a legend or something along those lines, but slot archetype is really good early on. He's the only one we've seen. He carries a little bit of value there for sure. Uh, we see a Rob again, 83, not a very good card. Um, big player. He's a big guy, but otherwise, you know, Metcalf, um, Debo I'd rather have those guys. We get to the pass rushers, JJ Watt, always a balanced card, always plays well, good strength, balanced. Cool. We know this. I like him. Don't love him. TJ Watt. I think this card is going to be really, really, really good. I know a lot of, not a lot of it stands out. Normally we want very high power move and finesse move combination. He doesn't really have that. The power move is 76 and we'll call it low, but his finesse move being really high. Um, and maybe with a little bit of chemistry, it gets over 90. That can be glitchy. When he got his team of the week card last year, he was an absolute monster. I kind of expect this card to be really, really good. And us figure out that it's a really good card for whatever the reason, TJ Watt cards always play good. Uh, Cleo Mac again, as balanced as you would expect him to be fast ish. 80 speed is okay, right? It's a good uh, Cleo Mac's a good card. He's a good card. But Miles Garrett is a card. I definitely do want again. He always plays pretty glitchy too. speed, size, strength, balance right there. Uh, again, power move, finesse move, 87, 84. Very good. Compares very well with Aaron Donald, right? Um, so I would put more at Donald at DT. So again, if I was sort of creating a three man pass rush at this time, uh, in my head of, of the players, we know I'd put Donald in the middle, I'd put Garrett out at a, at a DN spot. And I'd probably put TJ Watt out at a DN spot as well. And that's sort of how I would frame my three pass rushes. If I had to have or I'd probably move Garrett inside and then have like Cleo Mack out there again. That's what we've seen. No surprise that we want to use the best of the best, but just a heads up there. Some budget E cards. This Leonard Floyd, it's not bad. He's got some speed, some finesse move. Yeah, it's all right. This is a good card for solos and stuff. Hassan Reddick, same thing, uh, but he does have good speed on him. He became a pass rusher recently. Shout out to, I believe it was Andrew. Was it Andrew Thomas who gave up five sacks to him? Uh, in that one game. Okay. Eh, it's all right. You know, uh, I don't know why they were showcasing this card, whatever. Then we got Oway. If you guys remember from the draft, he was drafted as Jason Oway. Not really his real name. He changed it. He wanted everyone to come call by his real name, Motiface. So that's what he is. But he was a fast player back at Penn State. This card right here is very fast. Curious to see what he does. When I see that kind of speed and acceleration on the card, at this low over and overall, it makes me think and wonder. Could be a goon in the future. Obviously not too great right now, but again, um, it might be. A, a, I, I, I assume he's a linebacker here in the game. If he's an end, he's a great spy. Phenomenal spy. Uh, and then the Jalen Phillips is a rookie premier. Again, really good speed on this card as an outside linebacker. But his power move, finesse move combo for rookie premiere, it just doesn't cut it versus the other people. Uh, they also showed us an Anthony Barr, which they'd shown us before. I don't know why they showed this to us, but again, this bar card is not up to par at all. And then we get back to the beginning there. So what I want to mention here about these things is we see with the team builders, uh, they also revealed, I think a Jalen Smith somewhere, but I, I, I didn't get that picture. Um, so as expected with team builders, 
there's going to be two per team, right? One offense, one defense. That's the cadence that he has been doing since team builders have been a thing. So expect that. Now, what I want you guys to do, tell me your team and tell me the two players you want for your team builders. Keep in mind, they've got to be cards who, who aren't elite already. We haven't seen any cards who are elite. Um, so uh, base gold cards, right? So for like the Falcons here, I'm not that I'm putting out a bunch of predictions. But I would say someone like AJ Terrell makes a lot of sense. Just a lot of sense. And then uh, Jake Matthews, right? So we'll get a lineman, I think, uh, would be my guess. Jake Matthews, AJ Terrell, pretty standard sort of, hey, these Falcons need a bit of an upgrade. But let me know who you guys want on your team. Again, gold cards, not cards who are elite. So I don't want to see a Cowboys fan. Let's say Dak. Well, obviously, we know the Cowboys is not Dak. Um, but even for the Falcons, right? I assume Matt Ryan's still an elite card. Not a high card, but he's still elite. So I can't put him in there. The Ridley's already there. We already know Pitts has an upgrade, right? So just use your, uh, use your brain a little bit here on this one. But be great. Take care. I love you guys. And I'm out.